From the entertainment industry to the oil and gas sector, black women have broken barriers and defied all odds to become multi-millionaires. This video highlights a few of them in their journeys to becoming some of the world's richest people. Beyonce Leading the list is Beyonce, the Texas-born celebrity known for her musical career with Destiny's Child and as a solo artist. Beyond music, she has secured numerous endorsements and business deals, accumulating a net worth of $540 million. Beyonce's music career began in the late 90s, and she has since become a major influence in the industry, inspiring artists like Rihanna, Taylor Swift, and Adele. Known for her exceptional stage presence, she sold over 1 million tickets for her Renaissance World Tour in 2023, grossing $154.4 million, her most successful tour yet. Her previous tours in 2018 and 2016 grossed $87 million and $86.9 million, respectively. In addition to her tours, Beyoncé has sold an estimated 200 million records worldwide, making her one of the best-selling music artists of all time. She has also starred in movies including playing Diana Ross in Dreamgirls. Her influence extends to fashion, with current partnerships including Balmain and has collaborations with Adidas, Topshop, Pepsi, and Tommy Hilfiger. In 2015, Beyoncé became a co-owner of the music streaming service title. Her diverse ventures and significant impact across various industries solidify her status beyond just the music world. In the realm of music, Rihanna, the Barbados queen, emerges as another notable figure. Rising from a humble background, the 35-year-old has defied odds to secure a place among billionaires, her remarkable journey to success earned her a perfect score of 10 on Forbes' list of self-made women in 2023. While she's recognized as one of the world's most successful artists, boasting the title of the second best-selling female music artist and the highest certified female artist of all time, her wealth predominantly stems from her venture, Fenty Beauty. Fenty Beauty, a groundbreaking move for Rihanna, transformed her passion for makeup into a lucrative enterprise valued at $2.8 billion. With a 50% stake in the company, she capitalized on her love for fashion and music to craft her empire. Additionally, Rihanna ventured into lingerie with Savage X Fenty, owning a 30% stake. Her entrepreneurial spirit knows no bounds, evident in her diverse portfolio of businesses. Alongside Fenty Beauty and Savage X Fenty, she launched Fenty Skin in 2020 a beauty and stylist agency called F8Me, and a photo agency named A Dog Ate My Homework. Prior to these ventures, Rihanna had lucrative endorsements and partnerships, including fragrances like Rebel Fleur, projected to generate $80 million. Her fashion-forward vision led to collaborations with renowned brands such as Armani and River Island, enabling her to debut her inaugural women's fashion collection in London. Rihanna's trailblazing career extends beyond beauty and fashion collaborations. She made history as the first black female face of Dior and later assumed the role of creative director at Puma, where she debuted her clothing line at New York Fashion Week. Known as Bad Girl Ryrie, she recently embraced motherhood and leveraged her new role to launch a maternity line prioritizing comfort. With a net worth of $1.4 billion, she ranks 2083 on Ford's billionaire list and 20th among self-made women, rubbing shoulders with icons like Oprah Winfrey. Speaking of Oprah Winfrey, often hailed as the queen of all media, her fortune stands at a staggering $2.5 billion. Like Rihanna, she boasts a perfect self-made ranking of 10, a testament to her remarkable journey from a humble Mississippi upbringing to media magnet. Starting her career at WLAC TV, later WTVF TV in Nashville, she broke barriers as the youngest and first black female news anchor, defying the odds to become one of the most influential figures in media. Oprah Winfrey's path to excellence traces back to her determination from a young age to overcome her background and pursue education. Securing a scholarship to Tennessee State University, she balanced her studies with her budding career. However, her career trajectory skyrocketed when she began hosting The Oprah Winfrey Show in 1986, leaving an indelible mark during its remarkable run until 2011. This show served as the cornerstone of her entire empire, propelling her into production. Establishing herself as a production powerhouse, 
She now serves as the president of Harpo Productions, cleverly named after her own name spelled backward. Through Harpo, she brought to life iconic shows like Dr. Phil, Rachel Ray, and The Dr. Oz Show, among others. Expanding her reach, Winfrey launched Omen, Oprah Winfrey Network, in 2011, a cable channel that further solidified her influence. Nine years later, she strategically sold most of her own stake to Warner Brothers Discovery, opting for shares in the company. Additionally, she ventured into partnerships with giants like Apple and CBS, notably joining 60 Minutes as a special contributor. Beyond television, she's found success in writing, co-authoring five books, including her memoir and a weight loss guide with her personal trainer Bob Green in 2005. The impact of Oprah's writing prowess was evident when her book surpassed the advance fee of former U.S. President Bill Clinton's autobiography, cementing its status as the highest advance fee for any book globally. These literary triumphs, coupled with her diverse investments, have propelled her into the echelons of the world's wealthiest women. In contrast to the entertainment industry luminaries we've explored, Janice Bryant Howroyd, a 70-year-old millionaire, operates outside this realm as the founder and CEO of the Actone Group. This global enterprise specializes in providing workforce management, employment, and procurement solutions to a wide array of clients, including Fortune 500 companies, small and medium-sized businesses, and governmental organizations. Despite her non-entertainment focus, her entrepreneurial acumen has positioned her with a net worth of $600 million. The Actone Group's reach extends across 33 countries, serving 17,000 clients and employing 2,600 individuals worldwide. The company's financial prowess is staggering. In 2022 alone, it amassed an impressive $1.1 billion in revenue. Remarkably, this business, now capable of generating such substantial revenue, was launched with a mere $1,500, including a loan from Howroyd's mother, a fax machine, and a phone back in 1978. Indeed, it's remarkable how a business can blossom from humble beginnings. From its origins in a modest office in Los Angeles, Janice Bryant Howroyd's venture has burgeoned into the largest privately held minority woman-owned personnel company in the United States. Notably, the company has attracted esteemed clients like her brother-in-law Tom Noonan, who serves at Billboard magazine. In addition to her thriving multi-million dollar enterprise, Howroyd has also authored two books, Acting Up, released in 2019, and The Art of Work, in 2009. Her business acumen is evident in her writings, offering valuable insights into conquering the business world. Her achievements speak volumes, particularly as the first African-American woman to establish and own a billion-dollar company. Consequently, she claims the 42nd spot on Forbes 2023 list of America's self-made women, boasting a commendable score of 9 out of 10. Similarly, Sheila Johnson's career trajectory reflects a diverse exploration of various industries, although she diverged into a relatively unconventional field compared to her counterparts. As the owner of stakes in different professional sports franchises, including the Washington Mystics and the Women's National Basketball Association, and the Washington Wizards in the National Basketball Association, Johnson stands as the first African-American woman to hold ownership or partnership positions in three professional sports franchises. Her journey commenced in the entertainment sector, co-founding one of the industry's most prominent cable TV channels, the Black Entertainment Network, VEHE. In 2001, Johnson sold the business for $3 billion and redirected her investments into the hospitality sector, where she has emerged as a formidable figure. As the CEO of Salamander Hospitality, founded in 2005, she has cultivated an impressive portfolio, boasting various divisions. Among them, the Innisbrook Resort and Golf Club in Palm Harbor, Florida, stands out with its extensive amenities, including a 620-room hotel, four golf courses, a spa, three restaurants, and conference spaces. Other notable divisions include the Aurora Anguilla in the British West Indies, Hotel Bennett in Charleston, South Carolina, Half Moon in Montego Bay, Jamaica, and the Salamander Resort and Spa nestled in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Middleburg, Virginia. Johnson's remarkable work ethic and diverse achievements led to her being the first African-American woman to achieve billionaire status. 
Her accomplishments extend beyond the hospitality industry. She has also delved into film production with notable works like Kicking It and The Butler, the latter garnering nominations and wins at prestigious award shows. Johnson's ascent to the summit of success has solidified her position as one of America's most esteemed self-made women. With a net worth of $840 million, she claims the 28th spot on Forbes' list of self-made women, boasting a remarkable score of 9 out of 10. Serena Williams, one of the highest-paid athletes globally, naturally finds her place on this list. Her unparalleled prowess on the tennis court has propelled her net worth to a staggering $290 million, bolstered by both her winnings and lucrative endorsements. Guided by her father's coaching and her exceptional talent, Williams has left an indelible mark on the world of sports, particularly tennis, solidifying her status as one of the greatest athletes of all time. Her legacy and influence extend beyond her retirement from tennis in 2022, serving as a beacon of inspiration for generations to come. At the time of her retirement, Williams had amassed an impressive $95 million from her winnings, a testament to her status as a serial winner who dominated the tennis world as the world number one in singles for a remarkable 319 weeks, as recognized by the Women's Tennis Association. Beyond her sporting achievements, Williams has carved out a prominent presence in the fashion industry. Renowned for her on-court attire, she inked a lucrative deal with Nike following the termination of her partnership with Puma and subsequently launched her own clothing line. Additionally, she introduced her designer apparel line, Anaris, cleverly derived from her first name spelled backward alongside a signature collection of handbags and jewelry. Her foray into sustainable fashion with the S by Serena collection drawing inspiration from 1990 streetwear, further underscores her entrepreneurial acumen. In a surprising turn, Williams pursued certification as a nail technician after encountering issues with her own nail set, demonstrating her commitment to excellence even in unexpected domains. Not content with dominating just the sports and fashion spheres, she boasts endorsement deals with numerous brands and holds a small stake in the Miami Dolphins, Venturing into entertainment and writing, she launched 926 Productions, a multimedia company, to bolster her role as a producer and authored her first children's book in September 2022. Williams' journey to success, largely self-propelled from her formative years, firmly positions her among America's self-made women. Ranked 89th on the Forbes list, her lack of monetary support from her parents underscores her impressive self-made score of 9 out of 10. Now, shifting focus to Haji Abola Shagaya, our next millionaire hails from the heart of Africa. She is a Nigerian-born international business tycoon, fashion enthusiast, and political icon. Bola embarked on her professional journey in the banking sector, initially joining the audit unit of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN. However, driven by her entrepreneurial spirit, she sought broader horizons and transitioned into the photography industry initiating the importation of photographic materials, with a vision extending beyond Nigeria to encompass the entire West African market. Introducing the Konica brand to Nigerian and West African markets, she diversified her portfolio before returning to banking, where she has served on the board of Unity Bank PLC for over eight years. Throughout her career, she has navigated diverse sectors, including real estate and oil and gas within her nation. Currently, she holds the position of Managing Director at Practor Limited, a prominent importer and distributor of base oil catering to local lubricant blending plants. Additionally, her footprint in real estate is notable, evident in the establishment of Bulma's Group International, a conglomerate with interests spanning various industries. Her real estate ventures extend across Nigeria's cities and are gradually expanding globally, facilitated by the endeavors of her children who are spearheading growth in Europe and the United States. Beyond her investments, Bola's passion for fashion is palpable, positioning her as a fashion enthusiast and a patron of the Fashion Designers Association of Nigeria. While her primary investments are concentrated in Nigeria, she also holds minor stakes in Asia and Australia, reflecting her substantial net worth exceeding $950 million. Ayman Abu Zaid represents yet another domain where black women are excelling, the healthcare sector. Originally from Sudan, 
Abu Zaid is a physician and entrepreneur who has capitalized on addressing the nursing shortage prevalent in American hospitals. As the co-founder and CEO of Incredible Health, she has developed a platform that matches nurses' profiles with job openings in hospitals, often likened to an enhanced version of LinkedIn. Despite her relatively young age of 38, Abu Zaid has already made significant strides, ranking number 77 on Forbes' 2023 list of America's self-made women, with a commendable score of 8 out of 10. Her journey embodies the essence of self-made success, emerging from a middle-class or upper-middle-class background. Since establishing her business in 2017, Incredible Health has garnered substantial investments from private backers, with a recent infusion of $80 million in 2022 valuing the company at $1.65 billion. Abu Zaid's role as a co-founder of Incredible Health distinguishes her among black female founders, as she leads one of the few unicorn businesses in this demographic, defined by a market capitalization exceeding $1 billion. The company's achievements include facilitating connections between nurses and potential employers, while also claiming the title of the highest-valued tech-enabled career marketplace in healthcare, an impressive feat indeed. From being the daughter of a Sudanese surgeon, residing in Saudi Arabia to obtaining a medical degree in the United Kingdom and transitioning to healthcare consulting in the U.S., Abu Zaid's journey exemplifies resilience, innovation, and entrepreneurial acumen. This is the tale of how Abu Zaid ascends among the wealthiest women globally, boasting a net worth of $350 million. Meanwhile, Emma Greed, a 40-year-old British mogul, has firmly established her foothold in the fashion realm. Her passion for fashion ignited early on, leading her to pursue business studies at the London College of Fashion. However, she diverts from academia after securing an internship at Guxy, opting instead to immerse herself in the industry. Following her internship, Gree transitioned into a role as a producer at Inca Productions, an event management company specializing in fashion shows. Subsequently, she ventured into entrepreneurship, founding and serving as CEO of independent talent brand Worldwide, a London-based talent management and entertainment marketing agency in 2008. A decade later, the company was acquired by Rogers & Cowan, marking a significant milestone in Greed's career. Notably, Greed seized a lucrative opportunity by proposing a denim company to the Kardashian clan, ultimately leading to the establishment of the venture in 2016. Bolstered by its success, the company, led by Greed and her partner Klo, diversified its offerings to include dresses, activewear, tops, swimwear, sleepwear, and shoes. Encouraged by this triumph, Greed embarked on another venture with Kim Kardashian, co-founding Skims, a shakewear brand, where she assumes the role of chief product officer. Skims has emerged as one of her most significant endeavors, boasting a staggering valuation of $4 billion. Following a funding round in 2023, Kris Jenner extended her array of partnerships by co-founding Safely with Chrissy Titan. This venture, launched in 2021, specializes in plant-based cleaning and self-care products. In addition to her role as a co-founder in various fashion enterprises, Jenner is an active investor in the popular ABC series Shark Tank, where she notably became the first black woman to appear. She also chairs the 15% Pledge campaign, advocating for retailers to dedicate 15% of shelf space to black-owned businesses. With a net worth of $320 million, Jenner's journey to success is marked by accolades, placing her at number 84 on the 2023 Forbes list of America's self-made women, with a self-made score of 9, reflecting her remarkable rise from humble beginnings. Nanjina Kenyatta, the inaugural First Lady of Kenya, secures her place on this list with a net worth of $1 billion. While not active in politics, she stood alongside her husband during Kenya's independence 60 years ago, earning the endearing title Mama Njina, or Mother of the Nation. Kenyatta has played a pivotal role in various community development initiatives. Like her counterparts, Kenyatta has diversified her portfolio, notably holding a significant stake in NCBA Group, one of Kenya's premier privately held banks. Additionally, her family has investments in the Heritage Group of Hotels, a renowned hospitality chain serving over 2.5 million guests in its two-decade legacy. 
In addition to her holdings in hotels and banking, Kenyatta also possesses significant stakes in Brookside Dairies, a prominent dairy processing company in Kenya. As of 2019, she and her family held a 50% ownership share in the company, which already commanded 45% of the domestic dairy market. Notably, she has investments in Kenya Power, where she owns 2.2 million shares, marking her as a minority shareholder. The Pandora Papers of 2021 revealed further offshore assets, including a company with $30 million in stocks and bonds. The Kenyatta family also acquired MediaMax, a leading media conglomerate in Kenya, which boasts assets such as the Kami FM radio station, among others. At 90 years old, Kenyatta's investments span multiple sectors, including real estate, banking, manufacturing, and farming. These ventures solidify her reputation as one of Kenya's most influential figures across various industries. Following Kenyatta is Folorunso Alakija, once hailed as Nigeria's wealthiest woman and currently serving as the vice chairman of Fanfa Oil. With a net worth of $1 billion, as per Forbes 2020 rankings, Alakija embarked on her career in the banking sector, where she spent 12 years, eventually holding the position of executive secretary to the managing director. Following her banking career, Alakija's passion for fashion and creativity led her to transition to the American College in London and the Central School of Fashion to pursue her interests. Upon completing her studies, she established her own fashion label called Supreme Stitches, later rebranded as the Rose of Sharon House of Fashion. This venture attracted high-profile clients such as Mrs. Babajinda, the former First Lady of Nigeria. As a dedicated entrepreneur, Alakija expanded her business interests by founding related enterprises like the Rose of Sharon Prints and Promotions, specializing in monogramming and screen printing for promotional and gift items. Evolving into Digital Reality Print Limited, the company ventured into highly technical digital large format printing. In the realm of fashion, Alakija's commitment earned her recognition, culminating in her appointment as the president and lifelong trustee of the Fashion Designers Association of Nigeria. In this role, she left a lasting legacy focused on promoting Nigerian culture through fashion and style, setting the stage for the launch of her eponymous fashion label. Alakiya also had her sights set on the oil and gas sector, where she played a pivotal role in laying the foundation for her family's company, Fanfa Oil. Serving as the executive vice chairman of Fanfa Oil Limited, she oversees the oil exploration and production business which stands as one of Nigeria's largest indigenously owned exporters of crude oil. The company holds a significant stake in the Egbami oil field, a prolific offshore asset, and engages in partnerships with industry giants like Chevron and Petrobras. Beyond her endeavors in fashion and oil, Alakija maintains ties to the real estate sector, serving as the executive vice chairman of Dayspring Property Development Company Limited, a prominent real estate firm in Nigeria. Alakija's unwavering dedication and entrepreneurial drive have earned her numerous appearances on the Forbes list of the world's 100 most powerful women. Concluding this list is another millionaire from the entertainment industry, Shonda Rhimes. With a net worth of $250 million, the 53-year-old American television producer and screenwriter has solidified her status as one of the wealthiest black women in the field. Rhymes is the founder of the production company Shondaland, responsible for hit shows like How to Get Away with Murder and Scandal, featuring A-list talents like Viola Davis and Kerry Washington. Before her rise to stardom, Rhymes began her career as an intern under Deborah Martin Chase, collaborating on projects like The Princess Diaries 2. She also gained experience at Mundy Lane Entertainment, Denzel Washington's production company, before transitioning to Netflix in 2017 marking a shift from traditional television. With a five-year contract worth at least $100 million inked with the streaming platform, Oak undoubtedly sealed a lucrative deal that proved mutually beneficial, evident from its extension in 2021. Renowned for her exceptional production and writing skills, Oak has left an indelible mark not only in traditional television, but also in the realm of streaming. Notably, her involvement as a producer in the hit series Bridgerton exemplifies her prowess in the industry. Additionally, her contributions to projects like the television drama Miniseries Inventing Anna underscore her versatility and creative genius. Throughout her illustrious career, 
Oak has garnered prestigious accolades, including a Golden Globe Award and recognition from the Writers Guild of America, among others. Guided by her mentor Deborah Chase, the producer of Cheetah Girls, Oak ascended to the pinnacle of success through her exceptional talent and relentless dedication, laying the foundation for her empire single-handedly. Such remarkable achievements have earned her the esteemed rank of 96 on the Ford's list of America's self-made women, with an impressive self-made score of 8 out of 10. Moreover, she has been duly acknowledged, securing positions as number 93 on the Ford's list of powerful women and number 18 among the highest paid entertainers. As we conclude, Oak's remarkable journey serves as a testament to her extraordinary abilities and unwavering commitment to excellence, ensuring a captivating and enduring legacy in the entertainment industry.